Hello and welcome to episode number 29 of Creating a Legend. I am the FM Novice and Merry Christmas. This episode will be going live at 6pm on Christmas Day. I'm recording this on the 17th of December, so it just feel weird saying Merry Christmas. But there we go, it has been said. Form is on a slight upturn at the moment. We've had a couple of decent results, which we'll go through in a moment, and a bit of bad news around the injury front. But we are currently 10th in the table, 15 points from 17. We are playing at Chornomet, who've got three points ahead of us, but better goal difference. We can move out of the relegation zone in today's game as we hit the mid-season break. We've just got over three months for our next game, so a win today will be really positive before we play Alexandria in the next game in a few months' time. So it's Tournament today, Alexandria next. Let's have a look back at what's happened since we were last together. So we last were together for the 0-0 draw against Kapati. Yes, because Asa got sent off in that one. We followed that up with a horrendously bad 2-0 defeat away to lower league Ruk Vinigan in the quarterfinal of the Ukrainian Cup. Effectively, we didn't turn up. No one turned up. We were dreadful. They scored a couple of goals. We're out of the cup, which is disappointing. It means we can concentrate on the league and other such rubbish cliches. We then had a two-all draw away at Zora. 2-0 up. Desbrudenko and Skoblov scoring in the first half, where they scored in the 53rd and a 90th minute equaliser. Incredibly frustrating. We dropped two points there. Then we had a home tie against Moripold, who were in fourth in the table. So that's a really good, strong defensive performance as we ground out a 0-0 draw. And then we've just played it away at Dnipro. Denis Bozrudenko scored to give us a 1-0 victory. But Igor Kogot has broken his ankle and will be out for four to five months. The positive about that one is from after the day we didn't play for three months, so he could be back for the playoffs running. So he's not going to miss that many games, but we are currently four games unbeaten in the league. A win today is massive. I'm still persevering with this tactic. It's going okay. So... I think my biggest thing I'm going to need to do is in the transfer window is I need to strengthen that midfield. There's lots of players who aren't quite strong enough in those positions. They're all fairly, what's the actual phrase, unconvincing, competent, competent, unconvincing, unconvincing. So lots of lots of squad building to do, but our side today is passed in goal. A back four of Gelchik, Stavok, Dutz and Kravchenko. Kizil, Skarlash, Skoblov, Issa and Miganov are the midfield five some. Bezrit Bredenko is my striker. We haven't scored enough goals. Midfield's not overly convincing. Defensively, we're relatively solid and the goalkeeper's fairly decent. So that's probably why we are 11th in the table. So last game before the winter break and a chance for us to strengthen the squad. as they, oh, They're on the break straight away. Tarko plays it in it's, and it's flicked over the bar. That's a bit of a wake-up call after 18 seconds. Corner. I have not to take. Plays in. Good header away by Issa. Dutz reclaims the ball. Clears it away to Bezredenko. We've got men over here. We've got men over. If he can find the right pass, he plays it back. But we've still got the ball. Miganov. Essa. Skarlash scores! Dimitri Andrei Skarlash. He's not Dimitri. He's Andre Scarla. He's been with me four years. I should know his name by now. But he scored the goal. Two minutes gone. We are in the lead. Good play by Issa. Scarla slicked it past the keeper. A very good start. It's important we keep it going, though. Obviously. It's amazing how nerve-wracking a game football manager can be. It's just a game. I can't believe we get so agitated by this. It's just a game. So they played it in, but it looked like a foul on the keeper. But it's not, it doesn't stand, so it's fine. It's important that we don't lose focus here. We are dominating this game, but it's only 1-0. Passed with a goal kick. Short to Kravchenko. Across the box to Stavoc. Gelchik back to pass. I don't like the fact that we play it out from the back. Because we generally lose the ball. But okay, we've got the ball. Miganov. Looking for options. He's a good player in that player in that place. It's Kizil. Bozrodenko. Essa. Miganov. Essa. Skarlash, Bezrodenko, Kizil, Kizil shoots over the bar though. Oh, I could do with a second goal here. Really could do with a second goal before they get the inevitable equaliser. Skoblov, Kravchenko, long ball over the top. Bezrodenko, is he in? Is he in? No, he's not. Keeper claims the ball comfortably. Headed away. They win the ball back. Agreedy. Gelchik. Don't lose the ball there. He does, but we're getting it back. Stavok, Gelchik. 
Scarlish. Issa. This Tony has not been in great form recently. He's dropped off a little bit, but he's only 18, so he's plenty of room. Gale check. Get, get the ball in. He does. Headed away. Gale check again. Issa has got two men chasing him down. Plays it inside. Good ball. Scarlosh. Pick the right pass. Kravchenko. Scarlosh. Shoot. He scores! Andre Scarlosh, second of the game. Sensational strike. It is his second of the game. I thought I got that wrong for a moment. That's really good build-up play. We kept the ball for absolutely ages. And Scarsh from the edge of the box, beat the keeper. Lovely strike. I'm going to move to counter for a few minutes. Throw in. Gelbchek. Vesrodenko. Inside. Issa. Miganov. Inside. Kizil. Good tackle. I thought for a second that would have been a penalty, but it's not. It's absolutely essential that the next goal is ours. Miganov. He's really good play in that position. Issa. Whips into the back post. Kizil heads over. Half time. 2 0 up. We've absolutely dominated proceedings. We did this in the last a few weeks ago. We were 2 0 up and we only got a 2 2 draw out of it. So it's absolutely essential that we don't let that happen again. As it stands, we are in the relegation zone, but only on goal difference. Because Kapati are winning their game. Throw in. Miganov. Good long throw. No, it looked a good long throw down the line, but there was no one running onto it. And we're giving the ball back straight away to them. Long ball over the top. Good head by Scublov, though. Skarlosh gives it away. But we're going to retain the possession with Stabok. Skarlosh. Kizil. Can he beat his man? No, he plays inside. Skoblov. Acer. Shoots. Wide of the post, though. An hour gone. 19 shots to two. Five on target to nil. 62% possession. It'll be absolutely criminal if we don't end this game with three points. Of course, now I've said that, it's going to absolutely guarantee that we're going to lose this game. Goal kick, passed to take. Gelchuk. Skarlosh. Skarlosh. Long ball over the top. Bezredenko, who's about to be taken off. Plays it inside. Miganov scores! 3-0. The last contribution for Bezredenko was to pass it across to Miganov, who has made it 3-0. Lovely play from the back. Good play by Gelchuk. Skarlosh picks the ball. Skarlosh. Long ball over the top. Bezredenko played intelligently to pass it across to Miganov. The left back scores for the club. Yes, we're going to make our change. We're going to be 3-0 up. We know the game should be squared away now. We're going to bring on Timchuk for Kizil. Because Kizil's not had a great game. But Timchuk is a right back by trade. But he can come on and do a job. Kravchenko, 7.9. Superb performance. 10 minutes to go. We are currently in 8th position. So results are going our way. Do not concede from here, boys. We don't, and we clear it away for another corner. Dutz with the interception there. Seven to go. Another corner. Kovalets whips it in. We get it away again somehow. Defending for our lives here. We are a point clear of that relegation zone as it stands at the moment. So we enter injury time at the end of the half. Sobols is going to come on for Skoblov, who has been immense. Just for the last couple of minutes of the game. Miganov inside. Last 20 seconds or so, I'd say. Goalkeeper. Plays it out from the back. Martinek. Gap on. Just end the game now, ref. Yeah, it is. Helios free. Chomnumots nil. Thank you, boys. Very, very nice victory. Two goals from Andrew Skarlash and Alexander Miganov goal as well, making it a very comfortable, dominant performance. And we're currently outside of that relegation zone. The best place we've been all season. It is feeling extremely positive now. What a result for Christmas Day. The game on Boxing Day tomorrow will be the first game back after the winter break away at Alexandria. They are bottom of the table and really struggling to stay up. Another massive game if we can get a result. I've been the FM novice. You've been my audience. We are moving on. We are getting better. Come on, Helios.